Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet all of these little cactus appliques. I'm going to be using these little appliques for my next tutorial which probably is going to be Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to let you guys know on my community page and also on Instagram because this one is going to be quite a long video showing you guys how to make each of these little patterns. So that's why I decided to do one video with only the cactus so I can explain them very, very well for you guys. And then the other one is going to be basically showing you guys how to make a project using all of these cactus right here that I'm showing you guys in today's video. Also stay tuned for the end of the video as we are going to be having an amazing, amazing surprise for you guys. And it's amazing how the channel is growing so, so fast. And I'm so, so happy for everything that is happening now here on the channel. So if you guys want to have a little discount, <laughs> so stay tuned for the end of the video so you know more about this incredible surprise that I have for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you do, make sure to give a massive thumbs up here in today's video. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos like this one. So enjoy the video, guys, and let's begin with today's tutorial. So for today's video, we are going to be using six different shades of green yarn. I have right here the Iggy one from Tessilan.com. These ones right here are 100% cotton and each of the bowls are 50 grams. All the materials that I'm going to be mentioning here in today's video, they will be all linked in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And for the flowers and the small details on the cactus, we are going to be using a few different colored yarns. So I have right here a orange one, a light pink, a darker pink, and then I have a peachy one, a yellow, and last but not least, a white one. And for my crochet tools, I'm going to be using a two millimeters hook. I'm also going to be using a small pair of scissors, and a cutting yarn tool. You don't have to use this, you can just use this small pair of scissors. I'm just giving this tool a little try on today's video. And then I'm also going to be using some stitch markers and a yarn needle. So these are the cactus that we are going to be learning in today's video. So first I'm going to be starting with this one right here. For these cactus right here, they are basically all the same technique as you can see. This one is basically just without the little arms and these are with the arms. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the base for them. So basically this little thing right here, the very first part of it. And then I'll tell you how many rows I did for each of them. And then I'll show you guys how to make the little arms for these ones right here. But they are basically the same technique, just so you guys know. So you're going to be choosing a green that you guys want. So I'm going to be using this one right here. So we are going to be starting with a slip knot. And for this one right here, I've done a chain of 14. Once you've done your chain of 14, we are going to be skipping the very first one. We are gonna go into the second chain right here. And then right here, we are going to be creating our very first single crochet. And then we are going to be placing a stitch marker right here in which this one is basically our very first little stitch right here. And then from here, we are going to be continuing creating single crochets all the way up here, our chain. When we get into this very last chain right here, we are going to be creating three single crochets into that same chain right here. So three single crochets right here. And then now we are going to be continuing here on the other side with single crochets. I'm also going to be weaving in just a little bit this yarn right here into my project. So I'm gonna go right into that stitch, which is my first one. And then right here is going to be my first single crochet. 
and now I'm just going to be continuing here with single crochets all the way down. You guys can just follow here the previous row. So you have the same numbers of single crochets on both sides. So now right here at the end, we are going to be removing the stitch marker and into that stitch, we are going to be creating our very, very last single crochet. Here we go. That's how it looks like our very first row. So now to go up, we are going to be chaining one and turning project. So now we are going to be skipping this very first one that it's already from the chain one. And then we are going to go into the next one and create our very first single crochet. And from here, we are going to be continuing with single crochets all the way up until we have three stitches here at the top. So we are going to be stopping before these three here right at the top. So into that stitch right here. So into these three single crochets right here, we are going to be creating two single crochets into that same stitch. So here is the first one. So here is the second one. So two single crochets. And then into the last one from this little group, two single crochets. And then from here, we are going to be continuing all the way down with single crochets. So the last stitch that you're going to be creating the very last single crochet is going to be this one right here. So I'm just going to be creating my last one and prepare for the next row and repeat exactly the same, skipping the very first one, going into the second and going all the way up until we have three stitches left here at the top. So one, two and three. Into that stitch we are going to be stopping. Every time we are just going to be creating three increases here at the top, that's basically what we need to create the base here for the cactus. For all of them will be exactly, exactly the same. So once you have three right at the top, we are going to be creating the increases. So two single crochets into those three stitches here at the top. Once you've done that, we are going to be creating the other side here with single crochets going all the way down. And what I'm going to be doing right here is repeating one more row. As for this very first cactus right here, I'm going to be doing four rows. As you can see, this is not going to be enough. It's going to be four rows for this one. So once I have my four rows completed, I will be back and then I'll show you guys the next step. So now I'm just going to show you guys how to do the little arms. I'm going to be showing you guys this side first. So we are going to be starting with a chain of one, turning project, skipping the first one into the second one. We are going to be creating a slip stitch. So we're going to be counting one, two. And then on number nine, we are going to be starting the first arm. So we are going to be creating right here a single crochet. And then into the same one, we are going to be creating a half double crochet. So yarn over, go through the same stitch, grab the yarn. You're going to be having here three loops on the hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all those loops together. So that's a half double crochet. Into the next stitch, we are going to be creating a double crochet. So, first part here of the half double crochet. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So now into the same stitch right here, we are going to be creating a treble crochet or triple crochet. So you're going to wrap around two times here the yarn around the hook. You're going to go through that same stitch pull up a loop right here. So you're going to be having here four loops on the hook now. So you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two, very slowly, there we go. And then yarn over and pull through the last two. 
So that's how you do a triple crochet. And then into that same one, we are going to be creating our last double crochet. And then into the next one, we are going to be creating a half double crochet and a single crochet. So we repeat the same as we did into the beginning right here. So now we are going to be continuing with the slip stitches all the way to the other side. We are not going to be creating any increase now here for this very last row. We are just going to be following the stitches and create slip stitches. So now we are going to be continuing right here with the slip stitches until we have 10 stitches left here on this side. So we are going to be repeating exactly the same as on this side. So once you have finished this arm right here, this is how it looks like, it's exactly the same as the other one. So now we are going to be just finishing right here with slip stitches. So slip stitches all the way down right here. And also here for the bottom, I decided to create also the slip stitches. You guys don't have to do it. It's just optional because we are going to be sewing this and no one is going to see. So once you get right at the end, you're going to be connecting to here the very last stitch with a slip stitch right here. We are going to chain one and then you're going to be cutting here the yarn. And you can basically fasten off as our little cactus is ready. We just have to do the flower now. So now the next thing you have to do is just to weave in. So I'm going to show you guys how I weave in this one right here because I do exactly the same for all of the other ones as well. For this one in the middle right here you just have to cut this yarn as we did within with the single crochets right here. And then with this one we are going to thread the tapestry needle. We are just going to go through a few stitches here at the back of the cactus. go through one stitch twice and then one more creating a little loop you're gonna go through the loop and you're going to fasten off right here and then right here you can go ahead and cut the yarn and this is how I weave in all of my yarns at the back of my project and my little cactus so I don't have to show you guys every time so this is basically what I usually do. You're going to be saving one of these yarns that you just cut from the cactus here because we are going to be now creating the little flower here on top of this cactus. So I'm going to be using this yarn right here to create my flower. And also I use the same flower for these as well. And then the other ones are a little bit different. This one is basically exactly the same as this one. But this one I just scrunch it up. So I'm going to be showing you guys this one. And then these ones right here which are also all the same as well. This one is also just scrunching a little bit like this. But the other ones are the same. So to start the flower we are going to be creating a magic ring. That's how I create mine, but you guys can just create as you guys are used to. And then right here we are going to be chaining two. I like to start with the chain of two so it's easy for us to find the very first stitch. And then we are going to be creating four single crochets here around the magic ring. So we have five stitches here in total. So once you have that completed, you guys will be pulling this yarn to close the magic circle. And then you're going to be finding the very first stitch here from the chain 2. And then into that stitch, we are going to be going through that stitch and connect together with the slip stitch. So now for the petals, we are going to be creating 5. We are going to go up here with the chain of 2. And then into the same stitch, we are going to be creating a half double crochet. And then 
we're gonna go back into the same stitch with a slip stitch and then you're going to be finding the next stitch and then you're going to be first creating a slip stitch and then chaining two so following the same steps as the first petal and then we are going to be creating a half double crochet and then a slip stitch into that same stitch so now we are going to be repeating this until we have five petals in total so as you can see I've created my very last one so what we are going to be doing now is just chain one right here we are going to be cutting the yarn and then you can fasten off you're going to be moving here to the back you're going to be moving this yarn that we just fasten off very close here to the other one so it moves away from here the edge of the flower so you guys can choose any stitch from here I'm going to try get one right here just any little stitch it doesn't need to be an entire stitch just like a little thread from the yarn so once you've done that you can go ahead now and create a little knot here with these two yarns and then you can just cut here the excess yarn that we have here at the back so now you're gonna get that little piece of yarn that we've cut from the weaving in that we did on this cactus right here you're gonna go at the back of the flower you guys can use a tapestry needle it's going to help a little bit more than with the hook and then you will try to go through two stitches so basically one from this side of the flower and then one from the other side so you're going to be basically moving this yarn to the back here of the cactus once you've done that you can check if you like where you've just placed the flower and then here at the back we are going to be creating a little knot Once I've done that, I'm just going to be cutting my yarn here at the back of the cactus. And this is basically my very first cactus completed. So we have two, as you guys can see. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the next cactus. So this one right here. So for this cactus, I decided to use these two yarns right here. This one is going to be a little bit different than the other cactus. So we are going to be starting right here with a slip knot and then we are going to be chaining 10 so after chaining 10 we are gonna go back here on the chain with single crochets until we get right at the top into the last one right here we are going to be creating only two single crochets and then from here we are going to be continuing with our single crochets on the other side and then I'll meet you guys right at the end so we are going to be creating half double crochets for this one so we are going to be starting here with a chain of two we are going to be turning the project skipping the very first one into the second one it's where we are going to be starting the rows and then we are gonna go up until we have two stitches left right at the top so once you have the two stitches here at the top you're going to be creating increases here so two half double crochets into those two stitches right here so two on this one and two on the next one so increases the size of the cactus so now we are just going to be continuing right here with half double crochets all the way down and then we will do the next row together 
So now for the next row, we are going to be starting with a chain of two, turning project, skipping the first stitch. Now here is where we are going to be grabbing the back post only. Skip this one. Into the next one, we have the front post and the back post. So the front stitch and the back stitch right here. Usually we grab the entire stitch. But for this one, we are just going to be grabbing the back one only. And then that's how we are going to be doing from now on. Grabbing only the back stitch. So we are gonna go all the way up until we have three stitches left right at the top so right here we are going to be creating increases so also using the back post only so two half double crochets into three stitches here right at the top once you've done the the increases here on the three stitches we are going to be continuing with the half double crochets all the way down here on the other side so now for the next row we are going to be chaining two turning and going all the way up with half double crochets again until we have five stitches right at the top so I think this is going to be my last one, so let's see. So you're going to be finding first the middle one, you're going to be counting one, two, yeah, so that's basically where I stop, then one, two. So those five stitches right here is where we are going to be doing the increases. So two half double crochets into every and each of these five stitches right here. That's going to be increasing the size of this cactus a little bit more so once you've done the five right here you're going to be continuing all the way down and then we are going to be repeating this row one more time with five increases right at the top so following the same steps as this row right here that I'm just finishing. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and finish this row and then do one more row exactly like this one. So once you have the five rows here for this cactus, we can go ahead and chain one and fasten off right here. So this is how the very first part looks like. So now you guys can go ahead and weave in as you wish. So for the next one right here, we are going to be creating a chain of five. So it's going to be half of what we did right here into this one. So chain five and for basically the very bottom right here, we are going to be doing a few increases so we can kind of create it a little bit rounded, kind of curved so we can sew it nicely here on top of this first part. So we are basically going to be skipping the first one into the second one right here. We are going to be creating two single crochets. And then I'm gonna go ahead now here and repeat the same steps as I already showed you guys. And I'm going to be showing you how to make the increase when we get at the end. So when you get into the last stitch, we are also going to be creating an increase right here. So two single crochets into the last stitch. So to go up now, we are going to be creating a chain of two. We are going to be starting here with the half double crochets, turning and into this very first stitch right here. So we are not gonna be skipping this one anymore. We're going to be creating our first half double crochet and then following the same steps as I showed you guys into the first part. And then I'll meet you guys into the very very last stitch right here to show you guys how to do the increase right here as well so when you get at the end of this row we are going to go through the very last stitch and we are also going to be creating an increase by creating two half double crochets into that very last stitch right here as you can see it's curving already here at the bottom so now i'm just going to be doing the last row here for the second part of the cactus 
and also I'm going to be doing the increases on both ends and also following the same steps as it's basically grabbing the back post only for this row. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to be basically showing you guys how to make the very last part of this cactus. Once you have finished this one, you can go ahead and fasten off, leaving just a little bit more yarn here at the end so we can sew it together. So before I sew everything together, I'm just going to create the very last part, which is basically the one with two rows only. So now for this very last one, we are going to be following the same steps as we did into this one right here, just the second row which is the last row that is going to be a little bit different. And I'm going to be basically creating the very first row. And then I will be back with you guys to show you how to make the second row. So now for the second row on this one is going to be creating half double crochets and also increasing here at the beginning and also at the end, grabbing the first stitch right here and creating an increase. But now for the second row, we are going to be creating, grabbing the back posts here. So we have that nice finish and also creating the increases here at the top. So this is basically the only thing that is going to be different for the very last part of the cactus. And then when you get the end, you're going to be increasing as well. Once you've done that, we can fasten off, leaving a little bit of yarn to sew it in place. So now we have these ones here completed. Before I sew all of them together, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this little flower right here, which is super, super easy. So I'm going to be using this very thin yarn this is a lace yarn number zero with my two millimeters hook. So I'm going to be using the same hook for all of the yarns right here that I'm using in today's project. So we are going to be creating right here a magic ring. And then we are going to be chaining two. And we are going to be creating right here, instead of four, we are going to be creating five single crochets going around here the magic ring once you have this one done we are going to be closing the magic circle and once you've done that you can go ahead and connect both sides with a slip stitch so for this one we are going to be doing six petals and not five like the other one so this one is six one two three four five six as you can see so to start the petals we are going to be choosing how many chains we want to start with so you can choose three or four depending on the sizing of the petals that you want so i'm going to be starting for this one with a chain of three i'm gonna go into that same stitch and create a slip stitch go into the next stitch with a slip stitch and then we are going to be chaining three go back into the same stitch and slip stitch that in place and then now you can go ahead and follow so now you can go ahead and follow the same steps all the way around until you have six petals in total so once you have that done, we can go ahead now and fasten off. So chain one and fasten off. Move the yarn close to the other yarn here at the back. And we are going to be making a little knot exactly as we did to the other flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one more flower as I have two on this one and then we are just going to be assembling everything together after. And also I'm going to be placing the yarn at the back of my flowers so we can attach in place once we have the cactus ready. 
So once you have all of the parts completed, we are going to be assembling now the cactus together. This one right here I did on this side. So this one, what I decided to do is to create a little bit longer. And on the other side of the cactus, as you can see, just so it's a little bit different than this one right here. And then we have the flowers to attach it in place. So to sew it together is very, very simple. You're going to be using your tapestry needle. You're gonna get the yarn that you left here at the end to sew that in place. So thread the tapestry needle, choose where you want to place the second part on top of the first one. Choose a stitch, you're gonna go through that stitch and back into the second part and then you're gonna go through the second stitch here on the side and then choosing one from the second part here at the top so that's how we basically going to be sewing that in place so one from the bottom and one from the top and sewing the two together When you finish, you're gonna go through that stitch, the last one, one more time. And then you're going to go through the loop and fasten off. And you can go ahead and weave in this yarn if you want. I'm going to be doing that so I don't have to come back to this one after. So now I'm just going to be repeating the same steps and sewing the top here in place, just right here. So once you've sewn all of the three here together, we are now going to be attaching the flowers. So I'm going to be attaching exactly as I did into these other cactus right here, just moving the yarns here to the back and creating a triple knot here and cutting the yarn. So this is our second cactus, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the third one, which is this one, my favorite cactus out of all of them. I don't know why this is the cutest one, but this is my favorite one, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this one now. So for this one, we are going to be creating a chain of 23, so we can go ahead and do that. So the first row, it's basically exactly as we did the previous one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to be doing this very first row here with single crochets and the three single crochets right at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this row here, the very first one. And then I will be back to show you guys the next two rows that it's a little bit different. So now for the next row, we are going to be starting with the arms. So these two right here. So we are going to be chaining one. And then we are going to be turning here the project. We are going to be skipping the first one and create a single crochet into the second. And then right here, we are going to be counting 12 stitches and we are going to be creating 12 single crochets. And then on number 13, we are going to be starting with the first arm for this side right here. So I have two, so I need to have right here 12 in total. So now to create the arm on this side, we are going to be chaining here 10. So now we are going to be skipping this very first chain into the second one. We are going to be creating a single crochet. And then we are going to be creating two single crochets into the next two here chains on this chain so now you're going to be creating a decrease with three stitches here from the chain so you're going to go through the very first one you're going to pull up a loop and leaving that on the hook 
and then go into the next one, pull up a loop, leaving that on the hook and do that the same into the next one, just like this. So now you have four loops here on the hook. So now you're just going to yarn over and pull through all the loops together. So that's how you do a decrease here on the chain. So now we're going to be creating one single crochet into the next stitch. And then also here into the next stitch. So here we have two single crochets after the decrease. So now we are going to be doing another decrease here. So we are going to be grabbing the next stitch available. Then we're going to pull up a loop right here. And then we're going to go right in the middle here of this single crochet. Going to pull up a loop right here. And then we're going to be creating another one right into that stitch right here, which is basically for us to continue the project going around. So go through that stitch and pull up another loop. And then right here, yarn over and pull through all those loops together. And we are going to be following the pattern all the way around until we have 11 stitches left here on this side. So once you have the 11 stitches left right here, you guys will be coming back with me and then we are going to be doing the other arm on this side which is a little bit different as we are coming on the other side so right here i have 11 stitches left as you can see so now we are going to be doing the other arm going that way so we're going to be chaining 10 exactly as on the other side and we are going to be working towards the chain right here towards our work so going this way and finishing off on this side so we are going to be doing exactly as on the other side, so skipping one into the next one, a single crochet, plus two into the next two stitches. So three single crochets here in total. So now here for the next one, we are going to be creating an increase of three single crochets into that same stitch. We are basically doing the contrary of the other one on this side as it's gonna go towards this way so now we are going to be doing right here three single crochets so one two and three we are going to be grabbing exactly as we did on this side so the next stitch keep that on the hook so here we are going to be doing a decrease and then we're gonna get the next one which is in between the single crochet here and then the next stitch from the work here the cactus on the side and then right here yarn over and pull through all the loops together so from here we are just going to be finishing off here on this side by just creating the single crochets going all the way down So for the next row, we are going to be chaining one, turning project, and we are going to be creating single crochets until we get to this stitch right here, which is basically under the little arm right here. So once you got into this stitch right here, we are going to be creating a decrease right here underneath this arm. So we are gonna go through the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then into this little space that we have right here and pull up a loop as well right here and then the last one into this very first stitch here from the arm so right here is going to be a decrease so yarn over and pull through all those loops so from this point all the way to this stitch right here which is basically the one in the middle of those three single crochets all together that increase that we've created right here so you're going to be creating single crochets from this point all the way to the previous stitch when you get into this stitch right here we are going to be creating another increase so three single crochets into that same stitch so three right here and now we are going to be continuing right here with single crochets until we get right at the top right here 
So now from this point all the way to here we are going to be doing slip stitches. So just go ahead and create as many as you need just following the stitches that you have right here. When you get into this very last stitch right here, we are going to be doing a decrease right here as well. You will see why. So you're going to go through the stitch right here, which is the last one, going to pull up a loop and then you're going to go right here in the middle in between the arm and the project right here. You're going to pull up a loop and then into the next stitch here from the actual project and you're going to pull up a loop right here. So right here we are going to be creating the decrease. So yarn over and pull through all those loops together. So from here we are going to be continuing with the project until we get to basically one stitch before here the other arm so we can do exactly what we did into the other one going around right here so when we get into this point we are going to be doing a decrease exactly as we did into the other side so you're going to be grabbing the first stitch you're going to pull up a loop the next one and the next one here from the arm and then yarn over and pull through all those loops together so here on the inside of the arm, we are going to be creating slip stitches all the way to the top as we did on this side. So all the way to the top, we are going to be creating slip stitches. So now from here, we are going to be creating single crochets until we get to the middle single crochet here from these three single crochets together. So once you get into that middle one right here, we are going to be creating another increase. So three single crochets into that stitch right here. So now I'm just going to be creating right here two single crochets. And then into the next one, the middle one and the next one right here, we are going to be doing a decrease. So go through the next one, pull up a loop the next one here pull up a loop and then the following one pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops together and now we can just finish it off this cactus right here by creating single crochets all the way down here until the very last stitch so now this cactus is ready so I'm just going to fasten off right here and also within my yarn so now I have completed these little cactus right here. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these two right here, which is basically two cactus in one, which I really like. I think it looks really cute. If you guys want to create a little flower for this one, you can. I'm not because all of the other ones has flowers already. This is the only one that is going to keep without the flower. And I think these ones, they don't really have flowers in real life. So let's keep it like this. <laughs> So let's begin here by creating our chain of 20. So for this one right here, we are going to be doing a chain of 20 for this one. And for this one right here, we are going to be doing a chain of 15. So five chains less than this one. And we are basically going to be doing the same amount of rows, as you can see, as we did for this one, which is only three rows in total. So you guys can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to be starting with my one. So as you can see, I've already started doing this cactus right here. I'm not gonna show you guys again how to do because it's basically following the same steps as this one, but just with a longer chain here in the middle. So you guys can go ahead and do the two cactus plus the flowers, in which is basically the same flowers that I did this one right here. So I'm going to be having the two cactus completed and also the flowers. And then I will be back to show you guys how to assemble everything together. And I also have the two flowers completed and also here with the little ties so we can attach them in place as well. So now you guys can decide how you guys want to attach and to sew both cactus together. 
I'm going to be probably doing this one on the other side as this one is on this side right here and I'm going to be threading this yarn right here to start sewing the two together. So I'm just going to be moving my yarn until I reach the two cactus right here so I can sew the two together. And then when I reach to this part right here with the two cactus, I'm just going to be sewing the two together with a very, very simple sewing. Just go back and forth, just making sure that I get both cactus. Once you get to this part right here, what you're going to be doing is just go back and forth like this, grabbing these stitches right here, the very last ones. So you guys can go ahead and do that all the way around, attaching the two, and then at the end you guys can fasten off, weave in, all that crochet stuff. So I'm going to be doing that and then I will be back to show you guys the next step. So once you have sewed the two together, now we are going to be attaching the flowers in place. So I'm going to be placing this one, the orange one, here on top and the yellow one here on the bottom, on this side, on the second cactus. Just so it's a little bit different here than this one. So now this one is ready as you can see so now we are going to be creating the next cactus which is basically just like a rounded cactus that I decided to do this way with just a little bit more details than the other ones and a tiny flower on the side. So for this one I'm going to be using this green and then the peachy yarn and the white yarn. So we are going to be starting with the magic ring and then we are going to be chaining two plus five single crochets going around here, the magic ring. So that's six in total, including here the chain two at the beginning. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and close the magic ring. And we are going to be basically connecting both sides together, just here with a slip stitch. So for creating the very first row, we are going to be chaining two and then we are going to be working with half double crochets plus also we are going to be working on the back post only, so the back loops only here on each stitch. So create your very first uh, half double crochet into that very first stitch that you've created the, um, the chain right here. And then into every stitch here from the base, we are going to be creating two half double crochets and grabbing only the back stitches. When you get right at the end, you're just going to be finding the very first stitch and connecting both of them with the slip stitch. So for the next row now, we are going to be creating the same as the previous one. So two half double crochets into every stitch going around. So now the next two rows will be a little bit different. So we are going to be starting as the previous row. So chain two and half double crochet into the same stitch. And then for the next one is going to be only one half double crochet. And then for the next one is going to be two half double crochet into one stitch. 
and then the next one is going to be one. So two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. So I have finished here with one half double crochet into that last stitch and then I'm going to now connect here to the other side with a slip stitch. And now for the next row is going to be just a tiny little bit different. So the beginning is exactly the same as the previous row. So chain two and half double crochet, one half double crochet into the same stitch. So now we are going to be doing one into the next stitch and then one into the next one and then two into the following stitch. So it's going to be one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. And then we are going to be following the same pattern all the way around. So now to finish it off, just the base here for the cactus, we are going to be creating a slip stitch just to connect both sides together. So for the very, very last row, we are just going to be running a slip stitch row going all the way around and this one is grabbing the entire stitch so I'm gonna go into the very first one and slip stitch and then go like this all the way around with the slip stitches you guys can place a stitch marker into that one if you guys want just to remember which one is the very first one as I know the slip stitches are very very hard to find the beginning and the end so yeah just a little <laughs> tip for you guys so once you get at the end you're going to be removing the stitch marker and connect with the slip stitch here to the other side there we go so chain one cut the yarn and fasten off and before i continue i'm going to be weaving in all of these yarns right here at the back of the cactus so the base is completed, so now I'm going to be using a little bit of the white yarn to create the little white details here around my cactus. I decided to do only on two rows, but you guys can do on all of the rows if you guys want, or just one row, it just depends on how you want it to look like. I'm going to be starting into the second row as you can see into that second row right here so you have to kind of find the second row here at the back so it's right here so you're gonna go through a little stitch here at the back and we are just going to be making a knot here at the back so we can secure the yarn here at the back of the cactus before we continue so just basically create a little knot here with the end of the yarn So to create the little V's as I did into this one right here, we are going to be starting right at the top where we want to create the V. So this is going to be one V. So basically the little tip here at the top, you're going to go through that stitch and then you're going to go and choose a stitch to create the base here for the V and you're going to push it back. And then you're going to be choosing another stitch, basically skipping one little stitch and going to the next one, as you can see right here. So into that stitch, go through that stitch, and then basically go back into the bottom right here to finish it off with the little V. So now I'm going to be skipping one, I'm gonna go into the next one right here, and I'm going to be creating the same thing. So now I'm just going to be repeating this going all the way around. So now I'm going to be moving into this row right here. So I skip the next one, go into the next one right here at the top. Choose a stitch here from the top. And then you're going to be doing exactly the same. But for this time, I'm going to be skipping two stitches here in between the V and then I'm gonna go into the next one and then I'm going to be creating the V's a little bit kind of wider and then I'm going to be skipping one and then create the next V into the next one so I'm just going to be finishing this all the way around and then I will show you guys how I'm going to just fasten off this one so when you have created the last one you want to make sure that the yarn 
that you're working with is at the back of the project and then right here we are just gonna go into one stitch here from the green yarn right here and then we're just going to fasten off right here So now I'm just going to be attaching the little flower. And I think we are done with all of the cactus. I'm just going to be organizing all of them here so you guys can see and you can see like the overview of all of the cactus I've created in today's video. So let's see look at all of these cactus guys they make me feel so so happy and smile i have a massive smile now on my face let me know if you guys do too because they make me so so happy and i'm super excited about them and love how they turn out as well let me know in the comments below what you guys think and which one is your favorite so now let me mention to you guys the little surprise that I have for each and every one of you guys. So Tessiland noticed our video, so they saw our video and they wanted to offer all of us 10% off on all of the products that you guys buy on the website by using the code BRUNATICALITY. So I'm so, so happy. This also makes me so happy that the channel is growing and people are recognizing our channel as well because it's our channel, not only mine. We are all in this together and that's why I make all of the content that I make here for you guys. So feel free to use my code. You guys can buy these yarns right here that I'm using in today's video. You guys can also buy some of the products that I've mentioned on my unboxing video as well. So that's also included on the 10% off. And the 10% off is going to last one week after the publication of this video. So feel free to check the description. I'm going to be having all the information written down for you guys so you guys understand a little bit more. So yeah, I think I have included everything that I wanted to say. So thank you guys so so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed make sure to give a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more cute videos like this one so thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i'll see you next probably monday or tuesday but also fridays bye